Hey guys, welcome to Coffee Tech by Isaac. I'm gonna run you through the three menus you'll need to use the Cafe Racer here by San Remo, the best, okay? And those will give you the access to your programming, your doses, it'll give you access to your clock, as well as the San Remo programmed cleaning cycle, as well as giving you access to your temperature, as well as your pre-infusion and doses on each of the heads as well. So the very first menu we'll go into is our dose, our programming for our coffee doses for our buttons here. To get into that, we just need to press and hold this middle button for five seconds. That'll go then into our programming mode. And there we go, that's our programming mode. Now we can program each of our buttons. Now this has four buttons or four programs per head active, so that's a double press on each of these. You'll know if that's been programmed or active when you actually go through one of the following menus, okay? So if we want to escape that one there, we're gonna press that middle button again and that'll exit or escape out of that menu. Now the next menu is going to be pressing and holding this not for five seconds, but for 10 seconds. So I'm gonna press and hold. We'll know it comes up because it'll be here and we'll show our dose settings. We're gonna keep holding and then it should say clock adjust. Just like that there guys, there's our clock adjust. Now, in regards to this here, this will give us the ability to program the machine to turn on in the morning, turn off in the evening, and also not even turn itself on on the days your cafe is closed as well. We'll scroll through to the next one, counters. That gives you the ability to know how many times each of your buttons have been pressed, so each of your programming buttons that you've got active on the machine. That can be very, very helpful to make sure you're maintaining an even usage of all three heads, especially on a machine like this one here, because you wanna be wearing them as evenly as possible. We'll scroll through to the last one, and this is our complete wash cycle. Now this activates all three heads and runs them through a wash and a rinse cycle, uh, which is like a standard automatic back flush cycle, but does all three at once. So unless you have the appropriate handles and the blind porter filters to put in there, do all three at once, I would not recommend using this cycle unless you have that available. Well, one more press and all the exit out of that menu. Now the final menu to get into, we're gonna press and hold the middle button and tap our hot water button. That gets me into my final menu, which is basically our temperature gauge on this head. So now we can adjust our temperature. We can go up with our temperature or down. We press the middle button to tab to the next one. This is cup warmer. We've got it off at the moment because we're here in the workshop. Then we have our pre-infusion or pre-wetting on the machine. Okay, that's on at the moment. So we're gonna go through the programming for those. So the first press of this button, so press one or button one is three seconds for our pre-infusion. I will be adjusting this for the client. Tab, button two, three seconds. Tab, double press of this one is five and double press of this one is five as well. Then we come to our dose settings. So this comes in mils this way where the other way of programming, I would use a set of scales and I'd use grams as my dose programming. Okay, so with this one here, dose one is 65 mils, that dose two is 86 mils, dose three, double tap is 55, and dose four is just four mils, so more like a flush. Okay, tap one more to get out of that. Now that particular menu you can go into on each head, here's the menu on this head, when scrolling through, here we go, there's our pre-infusions, and then there's our dose, and then we're out of that menu. So those are our menus that we will use as a barista working on this cafe racer. Very, very helpful to be able to tweak temperatures if you've got specific single origins, or if you want to experiment with some of your coffees as well to see if you, how far you can push it, how you can get more flavor, better profiles, and all sorts out of it. Okay, but this is all for this video. I just wanted to show you those menus. Make sure that you leave a comment below if you need to see uh, anything else from us. Also, make sure you put a thumbs up there if it has helped you out at all.